Hello, mate. Hello, what are you doing next door? No, nothing, mate. Nothing. Yeah, just relax him. Hey, what's up, guys? Redneck Einstein here, playing uh, Prison Architect. We're on the new Alpha version now, uh, Alpha 34. And there's been lots of uh, additions and improvements, which I'll get to in due course. But at the moment, we're in the process of building a prison. And we had sort of an initial prison. This was my starting area here. Uh, which wasn't too bad, but now I found that the canteen is going to be too small. I had showers over here, but I got rid of those too because um, they're too small. And so I'm, I'm in the process of redesigning right now, and uh, I've n I've kind of um, I've got my prisoner intake up to one at the moment, just because I've only got a little bit of room left. I can actually increase that to four now. So let's go to the intake and get four more medium. Yeah, four more medium security ones, and they're going to be coming in 10 hours and 24 minutes. Awesome, so let's meet the guys. Let's check, let's click on this hairy dude here. He looks like Mick Jagger with a, with a mustache. <laughs> I love family. He's been sentenced to 10 years for trafficking. His character, he hasn't got any reputation or anything right now. He's a bit boring. What about this big dude? This big guy. Look at the size of him. Sentenced to five years for multiple crimes, including rioting and perjury. Now, there was one cool guy who was in jail for uh, indie game uh, theft, basically indie game piracy, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. There's Snoop Dogg. Hey, Snoop Dogg. He's been sentenced to 13 years for multiple crimes, including blackmail, blackmail, and blackmail again. All right, so let's check how my builders are doing. My new area is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and make that our new canteen. So let's put that there. What's the problem here? We've got a serving table. Yeah, good. All right. So now I want to demolish this one. This one's just in the way. So let's press escape. Get rid of that. Click on the phone booth. I want to get rid of that. Now, if anyone knows what this connect thing does, I'm not... I mean, uh, can you let me know? Because I, I don't know what that does. Um, it obviously goes somewhere, but where? I don't know. So that'd be cool if you could let me know. Um... Yeah, so let's move on. We need to demolish this. So, demolish walls. Da, 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 da. Demolish all of this. Let's get rid of the room. So, to get rid of the room, you just click on any one of these and then right click on the area, drag it across, and that gets that, uh, you know, stopped. So, we need to get rid of that door. We need to get rid of that door. Or dismantle. I should say dismantle, shouldn't I? Dismantle. Because otherwise, if you dump it, I think you lose the money. But if you dismantle it, then you can reuse it elsewhere in the building. So that's cool. Let's dismantle these. Now this is... Eventually, I'm going to make this one huge, massive, efficient prison. If you've seen my previous video on um, how to work CCTV cameras and servos, I actually had a really big prison then. And now it's on Alpha 34, this, for, uh, this game. I, I want to um, get to that stage again. So my idea was probably to demolish these cells, these four cells here, and then build some more cells here. And then what they do is, yeah, I've got some more cells up here coming as well. I need a little storage area, I think. And then the idea was in this area, put more cells and then maybe a shower here or something. I'm not 100% sure yet. We've got a holding cell, massive holding cell, but no one needs to be held right now. So... Let's go on and see how everyone's doing. We do need a storage area. Where do you think I should put the storage area, guys? Hmm. There's not a lot of action here right now. Let's check on my prisoners. So I've got five normal risk and 11 low risk. Uh, staff, six workers, five guards, two staff, three administrators. Got some office people. I've got an accountant, foreman's office, staff room. And uh, having the... Um, Sorry, where is he? Having the warden's office, you can unlock stuff. So if you go up here in the bureaucracy tab, you can go here. Now I've got a warden. I've unlocked finance. Now you have to pay for stuff, but that's okay. Maintenance I've got and cleaning we need. So I'm going to pay 2000 to get cleaning because look at the state of my prison. It's growing mold everywhere. There's probably wildlife inside this prison somewhere. <laughs> So these are allocated as cells, but still, we need somewhere to store all these boxes. My workers are not working hard enough. Come on, guys. God, this guy can't sleep. What's the matter with him? He's dirty. He's dirty. That's because he needs a shower. Now, yeah, see, I kind of wanted to move these cells, put more cells there, move these cells, and then in the middle, have a shower. Which makes more sense, I 
think... Yeah, let's go ahead and build some more cells. So, here we're going to put them, the new cells across here like so. Now, I'm intending to have these as low security, so they're near the entrance. The You know, all the ones that are near the entrance, low security, and then the further into your prison you go, I want them to be high security, and I'm going to create little solitary cells with, you know, no room in them to swing a cat, so to speak. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of the fridge, get rid of the sink, all that stuff is in the way. Fast forward the game. And let's check on some of my prisoners. How's this guy? Prisoner Cole Busby, 37. One day without incident. So what's he in for? He's in five years for possession. <laughs> Prisoner was convicted of embezzling and multiple counts of wire fraud after discovering a vulnerability in the famous midget coin cryptocurrency. A parody of Bitcoin, I think. <laughs> he is soft-spoken and finds things quite hilarious. Don't let him near a computer. Family, he's got a wife, 34, and a father, 66. Roger that, Capitan. Cole Cheat 117 Busby. I like your name, sir. I like your name. So we've got five more prisoners. Oh, not five more. Damn it. We better make that four more. Intake. Slow that down. We've got four more prisoners coming now. Sweet. Okay, good. Look at these guys. These guys are stuck inside. Whoops. These guys are stuck inside their own room they built. Look, guys. If you're the if you're the uh, workers, surely you have the ability to knock down a wall and get out, right? Don't be so derp. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so these are going to be my prison cells, so they're going to be 3x3 three three again. I used to have 2x3 cells, but then I thought, why not give them a bit more room? Actually, these are 4. Ooh, these guys are going to be living in luxury. Yeah, well, we can make them, like, really nice, um, high security, uh, low security ones, maybe. Yeah, let's put a door there. Alright, what I'm going to do first is divide off the concrete wall, divide off the brick walls. Uh, another one there, another one there, another one there. Now, if you're enjoying this uh, video, guys, can you let me know in the comments uh, and I'll uh, produce more videos for it. I'm not 100% sure how well this is going, so it'd be nice to, if some of you could just let me know what you think. And we can get on to bigger and better stuff that that is new in this uh, alpha um, later on. So, as you can see, they've got new stuff like a prayer mat. Down here on the bottom left, prayer mat, library shelf. That's not new. Got an altar. Now, where's the new stuff? It, it is in here somewhere. School desk, that's all. That was all there before. Shop front. There we go. So they've got little shops they can buy stuff from. So I wonder where we could put the shop front then. I don't quite know how to implement that right now. But we can build a little room and make that the shop front. That would be cool. So, first of all, let's let these guys build the new jail cells. And, what's going on? How are these cookers doing? They're doing alright, I think. It's time for a shower, guys, but there isn't any shower. Ha! Ah, you're all going to be filthy. Filthy, I tell you. You're off the living dirt. Actually, we do need a shower. So, I've got another block over here, but I don't know where to build my shower right now. Hmm, maybe we should get rid of the yard. Build the shower going over this way into the center of the screen here. Hmm. What do you think, guys? You could have separate showers. So a little shower for these guys here, a little shower for these guys, and then like a big, um, a big, what do you call it, a yard in the middle here, something like that. Hmm. It's all open for debate right now. We can do whatever we want. Look at these guys living in here with all these boxes. Jeepers, creepers. Now, I've actually achieved uh, some of the, uh, what do you call the, the rate, um, uh, some of the grants already so we've actually got quite a nice bank balance right now so if, we, if I click on another one of these that'll mean that goes into my um, sort of mission briefing over here on the left and you can see I've already crossed out two of these so I've unlocked maintenance through bureaucracy unlocked cleaning through bureaucracy I need to unlock groundskeeping uh, I've hired a foreman I need to hire at least two janitors and hire a gardener so if we go back and do that we can hire a janitor. There we go. We've got a little janitor moving around now. Good, good. Go on, mate. You need to clean this place up. It's filthy. Now, all these doors, they have to wait for people to unlock these doors right now. Or they have to wait for the, uh, the guards to unlock the doors. Which is really annoying. So, later on, I'm going to implement servos and automatic doors. So, they can... Uh-oh! I hear a fight! 
Where's there a fight? Ah, oh, awesome! Yeah, fight you guys! You can't really see it right now. Look at this guy, he's the right troublemaker, Richard Darley. Look <laughs> at this guy! They all want a, a shower, I think, and that's the problem. Let's get more staff. Get another guard in. Come on, mate. Smack him over the head. He's a big guy to take down. Look at him. Oh, we've got two unconscious guys. At least no one's dead right now. I used to get a lot of people dying. <laughs> oh, no. Not dump. Dismantle. Okay, so they've got no shower. They definitely need a shower. Okay, let's go over here. Drastic measures. Demolish these little walls here. Uh, go over here and da, 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 dismantle these objects. And that one. And that one. And go ahead, dismantle these objects. So I'm just clicking on all these really quickly. And go to demolish walls again. So in here, in this little area, might be a good idea to build the shower. I'm pretty sure these guys are just really pissed off because they've got nowhere to shower and clean. <laughs> Oopsie! Now these need to be uh, converted into cells, so let's go ahead and put this here. Now, little tip, guys. If you um, highlight all of this section right up to the door, then you will get an error saying um, it's not enclosed. As you can see there in red, it says enclosed surrounded by walls and doors. Now, all you need to do to get rid of that is just right-click this area, and now it says it is Enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors, and that's it. That's like a common little error that you'll come across in the game. Um, so there we go. All right, we need some beds. We might need some more workers actually to get all this stuff done quicker. We need a hospital as well to look after these two guys. Either that, or we just let them wake up gradually in their own time. <laughs> They'll soon learn not to fight in my prison. <laughs> all right. So where should we put the bed? We'll put the bed there. More beds. So that's six more cells. And put a toilet here. Now, I, I, <laughs> I like to annoy them with the toilet. I like to sit them facing the doorway. So, like, when people walk past, they're, like, being perved on. <laughs> you get no privacy in my prison. Well, that's it, mate. All right, so we've got our new cells there. So we need pipes. And we'll get that running along there. And that will provide water to the toilet system. Sweet. Okay, so we've got four prisoners arriving. We're at maximum right now, so this these this area here, we can get six prisoners to come in and fill that area. But obviously, normal security ones are causing me some trouble. This guy in particular, Richard Darley. Let's take a look. He's been sentenced to 13 years for manslaughter. I need an isolation cell. Put this guy in. Now, where shall I build a little isolation cell? I'm going to build a little torture cell for them. It's going to be right here. I think it needs to be two by three. And that's it. There. It's going to be there. Let's have a look, actually. Isolation cell. Where is it? Solitary. That's it. That's what I mean. There's no room requirements whatsoever. Awesome. That's just going to be a little tiny room, then. You're just going to go in there, mate, and stand there, and that's it. Yeah, we can have two here, in fact. Put two little doors there. Sweet. <laughs> you guys are not coming out. All right. Let's go ahead. Allocate that as solitary. Yeah, it's failed and closed. So once they build that, built that, we'll be well away. Awesome. Okay, yeah, now we need that shower. So let's go ahead and put some more walls here to make sure no one escapes. Do, 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 do. So that's going to be the shower area. And then they walk, they walk from here to the left. We need two entrance doors for them. And... All should be good, I think. I don't. I, I, I don't actually plan this. I kind of work um, work it out as I go along. So <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Um, shower. Here we go. We'll just make one big shower here. Lovely jubbly. So that's going to be our shower. Then we need uh, drains. That's what we need. So we go here to the object section. Put some drains down. Uh, where are they? Drains. So I've got loads of drains left from when I dismantled dismantled my previous um, showers. So let's put that there. Lovely. And then we need uh, shower heads. Awesome. Put some little shower heads here. Some here. We'll just put as many as we want right now. 
doesn't matter too much as long as everyone gets a shower and then we'll work out the logistics of them moving from room to room afterwards all right awesome all right come on in workers get to work we need this place built there's my little solitary cell look at that love it you're gonna go in there and not move there's no windows no nothing do you know what I might put, actually? I might put little windows so they can talk to each other. <laughs> Why not? Little window in here. Hello, mate. Hello, what are you doing next door? No, nothing, mate. Nothing. Yeah, just relax him. Of course you are, my son. All right, let's go back to bureaucracy while we're here. We've got a cleaning approved. Groundskeeping. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Prison labor we've actually unlocked as well. Psychology, I might go for that. Unlocks the policy report. Let's get some... Extra grant, land expansion. Yeah, let's go for the land expansion. Unlock that. And clone. Unlocks the clone tool. Nah, I don't really want to worry about that right now. Micromanagement. I don't even know what that is. Gives you the tools to micromanage aspects of your prison so they meet your exact requirements. Unlocks food logistics, allowing you to specify which kitchens cook for which canteens. And which canteens inmates eat in. Okay, similarly, laundry logistics let you override which cell blocks are covered by which laundries. Also unlocks the deployment scheduler, which lets you customise your guard deployment at different times of the day. Ooh, you can really get into into uh, depth with the management of this place. That's pretty cool. So janitor is cleaning everything. Doesn't that look much better? Look, we've got a clean floor rather than all this grass growing everywhere. Beautiful. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got an escapee. Where's he going? He's making a break for it. Staff. Put a staff member there. Stop him, staff member. Look, he's escaping. Get him. Look, dude, you missed him. I pressed escape by accident. You big dumb idiot. You're getting a sack for that. Don't let him escape again. Noob. <laughs> he just made a break for it. Fair play to him. God, that's no good, is it? All right. Well, I think that about wraps up the first episode, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed watching. Been eventful, we've already had a freaking small riot with these two guys fighting. Has got another escapee! Another one escaping! Damn it, we've got gaps in the... Gaps in the, uh, built, uh, you know, the prison. Darn it! We're gonna have to fix that. Come on, guys, build them freaking walls, hurry up. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching, let me know if you want to see another one. And, uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye!